It kind of just tastes like sadness. I don't know why you would ever need crisps or chips flavored like turkey and stuffing, but we are gonna try them. Oh, I just can't with British people and Christmas pudding. I don't feel good things about this. And I think I have to take him off. Oh gosh, the mail just came and I thought someone was breaking into my house. Okay, life in the UK. Hey guys, welcome back to A Very British Christmas on the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I'm an American expat living in the UK. Today, I have one of the videos I'm most excited for in A Very British Christmas and that is taste testing British Christmas snacks, cookies, chips, uh, whatever British Christmas stuff I could find in the store I am testing here on camera for the first time. So how this works is I did my grocery delivery from a store called Asda, which is actually owned partly by Walmart, at least it used to be. Um, and it's a British bro, Brit, it, what? It's a British grocery store. And I just went through and picked out some Christmas themed chocolate chips, what they would call crisps here. Um, and other kind of snacks and crackers. I have not actually had any of this stuff like in previous Christmases or the rest of the year. So I am genuinely trying it on camera. Um, and I thought I'd just show you some of the things that you can find in the stores here because I always find it really interesting to see snacks in other countries. Okay, yeah, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with Treeslets. Give you a look there so these usually say cheeselets but they are treeslets for christmas um it's got some packaging talking about like christmas jumper day um oven baked cheese crackers got a nice little top here open that up oh oh Oh, that, wow. You can see, if you could see some crackers in there. Okay. The smell is pungent. They're shaped like little Christmas trees. Okay. They taste like cheese nips, not cheese its I do like them. If you smell them all at once, it's way too much. Mm, mm hmm. These get a thumbs up. I could see myself eating a lot of these. They're basically cheese crackers. Um, but because we're in the UK and there are actual laws about fake um, ingredients, they're probably made with a little bit more real cheese than what I am used to. Cheese flavor, snack biscuits. Okay, interesting. I would give these a thumbs up. I also just noticed this adorable um, Christmas jumper packaging, which I didn't see before. So, mmm, treeslets on point. Okay, next up are jelly tots. So they do have Christmas trees on them. It doesn't necessarily. Let's see if you can can see packaging feel like a beauty guru like look at this mascara no it's just british christmas treats um fruit flavored jelly snacks don't really know how to open these okay no your serving seven sweets is one serving that's another funny thing they call candy here sweets um okay so 
They look like little gumdrops. Let's see if we can Let's see if it will focus. Focus on the gumdrops. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So, jelly tots. Ooh, I'm very out of focus. Okay. Jelly tots. Let's go. I'm going to try the orange because I tend to like the orange flavors. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Yeah. They're kind of squidgy. They're not sour. Um. Very sweet. They get stuck in your teeth. Really stuck in your teeth. These are good though. I wouldn't choose to have a ton of these. Um, but they are basically just like little gumdrops. Again, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Thank you, England. Um, but mostly like just sugar, let's be honest. All right, next up, let's try some Maltesers mini reindeers. So individually wrapped mini reindeers, milk chocolate with a malt filling. Maltesers, really popular candy slash chocolate brand. Oh, and these are just individually wrapped, so cute. Um, all right, yeah, Maltesers, it says on the back. I think this is just going to be chocolate with honeycomb. I don't know which way up this goes. I think like this. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. If you ever try Maltesers or have Maltesers, it's basically reindeer in Maltesers form. So you can see on the inside is a honeycomb and then there's like chocolate on the outside. Thumbs up for the Maltesers mini reindeers. Okay, next up I'm going with Jaffa Cakes Festive Orange Yule Logs. I'm gonna be completely honest here. I don't like orange and chocolate together, which they really like here in the UK. And that's kind of the flavor behind a regular Jaffa cake. So it's dark chocolate, light sponge with an orange flavored center. But for the purposes of the video, I'm going to try Okay. So we've got the Jaffa cake packaging like that. Got some reindeer. Or no, there's no reindeer on this one. There's reindeer on the the big packaging. Um, festive orange Yule log is a telephone number in case I want to call Jaffa Cake. An email address as well. Okay, so let's see what this tastes like. So it looks like a Swiss roll if you're American. Um, which is basically what it is, except it's got orange flavoring. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I still do not like orange and chocolate together. Um, this has proven that. I don't think it tastes bad to somebody who does like that flavoring. So there's nothing wrong with Jaffa Cakes. I just don't like orange flavored chocolate. Um, but it's basically like a Swiss roll with orange on the inside like that. Okay, 
let's put that to the side. I might need some water before we move on. Whew. Okay. Now, let's see what else we can find. I am going to try the Cadbury's mini snowballs. So, milk chocolates in crisp sugar shell. I can get on board with that. Solid milk chocolate balls in crisp sugar dusted with icing sugar. Chocolate and sugar. That is a combination that I feel good about. Milk chocolate. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We all love Cadbury's by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. How can you go wrong? Okay. Oh my God. Is there like some secret code to get in here? Okay. Well, we had to go in through the back, but here's what they look like. Hmm. It's basically Cadbury's chocolate and sugar. Mmm. Thumbs up. For Cadbury mini snowballs. Apparently six of these are a portion. Okay. Mmm. Cadbury is my favorite chocolate. Really good. Fun fact. If you're in the U.S. and you see Cadbury's like imported from England. A lot of the times it's not even actually the same Cadbury's that you would get from here based on like some laws and trade or shipping things I do not understand. Um, so if you want real Cadbury's come to the UK. Okay next up let's go with the Kit Kat Christmas Break. Looks like this. Milk chocolate shell with the chocolatey filling. Mm-hmm mm-hmm. Um, we've got six individually wrapped mini milk chocolate Santas, okay? I can get on board with this. Oh, it's so cute. So we've got just a little, little Kit Kat here. It's a little Santa shaped. It will probably taste like a Kit Kat. It doesn't. Well, it does, but there's like, it's mostly just chocolate. It's missing the like Kit Kat crunch. Oh my god. Mmm. I feel betrayed. I really went into this thinking I was gonna eat a Kit Kat, but it's basically just chocolate. It's like the chocolate of a Kit Kat. There's maybe a tiny bit of like the Kit Kat rice filling. But it's mostly just Kit Kat chocolate, which isn't even like why you eat a Kit Kat. There's no Kit Kat like crunch. Thumbs down on the Kit Kat, not Kit Kat Santas. Not impressed. What should we do next? Let's try this adorable Marty's penguin that I found. He's got little feet. He's got a little hat. And I think I have to take him off. Oh gosh. The mail just came and I thought someone was breaking into my house. Okay. Life in the UK. Um, what's going on? Okay. 
right where am i smarties penguins so smarties are basically like kind of like m&ms okay so i've got this this chocolate thing there is no actual penguin shape printed on here so not loving it i need to break this open oh there we go so you can see there are little chocolates in here again they're just kind of like um i can't really tell if you can see this there we go like candy coated milk chocolate Mm, mm. That is not good. Mm-mm. After having Cadbury's, you can't eat other kinds of chocolates. Um, I feel like you buy this more for the adorable packaging than what's inside. No. Mm-mm. Thumbs down on the Smarties Christmas Penguin. Next up, let's do the Milk Chocolate Sprouts and Carrots. So this is pretty cute. This is basically little milk chocolates, but they're packaged up like Brussels sprout. Oh, oh there it goes. Um, Brussels sprouts and little carrots which is a cute way to be like, eat your vegetables, but actually it's chocolate. I'm just gonna try one of the carrot ones, assuming it's all basically the same. And I think it's just pure milk chocolate. Solid milk chocolate shapes. Also not good chocolate. I'm sorry. I really love chocolate. And I've gone into the past two Christmas treats ready for whatever kind of chocolate they would give me, but it just doesn't taste good. No. Once you keep going, it's not like terrible. I would eat it. It's just not Cadbury's and that is where everything falls apart. Moving on from second rate chocolate, let's try something savory. These are Asta Extra Special Turkey and Stuffing Hand Cooked Crisps. I don't know why you would ever need crisps or chips flavored like turkey and stuffing, but we are going to try them. It smells like stuffing, but it's a bag of chips. Oh, it also smells like turkey. I don't... actually subtle enough that I don't mind it as much as I thought I would. It does have like an aftertaste of turkey and stuffing, which is kind of weird, but it's not overwhelming to the point where you're like, this is disgusting. It's kind of just like, hmm. Weird, but I can get on board with it. And it kind of doesn't even taste like turkey and stuffing once you keep eating it. You're kind of just like eating a chip with like some random seasoning. 
they're definitely salty. Now, if you had told me before I started this video that I would want to eat more of the turkey and stuffing crisps and less of the milk chocolate, I would have thought that you were crazy, but that is what is happening. These are not that bad. I'm a fan. Mm. These were Asda extra special. It's kind of weirding me out that there are slices of turkey on this packaging, but if you don't think about it too much, they're really good. So definitely get yourself some of these the next time you're in the UK over the winter. Okay, we've got four more things to try. So I'm going to try some of the Arrow Dreamy Snow Bubbles. Now these are an aerated vanilla flavor center with a half milk chocolate, half white shell. Eight sweets equals one serving, very important to know. Let's see what these are like. Okay. These are cute. Let's see if you can see half, half white chocolate, half dark chocolate. Let's see what they taste like. Mmm. These are good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The white chocolate really makes it. I'm done with like bad milk chocolate, but the white chocolate gives it that different taste so you're not directly comparing it to regular like Cadbury's milk chocolate. Mmm. I could eat a lot of these. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to because I still have three more things to try, but Aero Dreamy Snow Bubbles, we like you. And next up, oh no. Okay. These are just regular Smarties, which again, we had in the Penguin and we're not a fan of. Actually, he makes an appearance on the packaging here. But. I'm gonna try these because that is what this video is. Oh, 16 sweets equals one serving. Let's see how we open these. I feel like half of the battle is just getting into the packaging. I don't know if it's because I'm American or because they package things differently here. And yes, that was a joke about Americans and us not being the brightest. I'm including myself. Okay. I don't feel good things about this. Okay, so it's basically a tube. It's basically like M&Ms, but they're not. They're Smarties. Um, so it's a tube. There's nothing really Christmassy about this besides the penguin and Christmas tree packaging, but it's not like the actual Smarties are really Christmas colors. They're just kind of yellow. There are some red and green. I don't know, let's try. No. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh my God. I really didn't think I would ever say that the chocolate, oh God, the chocolate is just not good. I'm not even like a chocolate snob. Like I love a Hershey's chocolate on a s'mores people. Like I grew up in America. I didn't grow up with like a European chocolate, but there's just something about it that is not good. Okay, two things to go. So let's try Jelly Baby Snowman. Snowmen, sorry. Fruit flavor jelly snowman. Ingredients. Sugar, glucose syrup, water, gelatin. Sign me up. So it even tells me. Mmm. 
Mmm, that smells good. Mmm, smells like gummy worms. Um, so green is lime flavor, red is strawberry flavor. I'm gonna try strawberry flavor. So let me just take some out so you can see what they look like. Oh, oh. My neighbors are probably like, why is she wearing an elf hat like on a Monday afternoon talking to herself? Um, so they look like they've got like powdered sugar kind of on them because it's getting on my fingers. Um, they're a little bit squishy. Okay, so this is a red strawberry one. Mmm. Okay. It, mm, yeah. it is very sweet, but it is good. It's got the consistency. Not 100% like a gummy bear because it's kind of like firm on the outside and then like squishy on the inside. Um, but it's not bad. It's a good taste, but I could eat a lot of them just because it's so, so sweet. So I'm gonna put the rest back. Final thing to try. Digestives that are Christmas pudding flavor. Okay, let's start with digestives. So digestives, I will basically show you what it looks like in just a second. But digestives are a very popular British biscuit, they would call it. It's very popular to have with your tea, so you like dunk it in your tea. Um, they've got like milk chocolate, plain digestion, digestions, plain digestives. And also, by the way, can we talk about how digestives is a very strange word for something that you're going to eat? Like it's just, it sounds like what should happen to your food rather than what you're actually eating. But anyway, um, so this is the seasonal edition Christmas pudding flavor. So I'm going to open it quickly. Oh, I just can't with British people and Christmas pudding. Okay. Okay, so they look like this, which is basically how a like normal digestive would look. Um, this is like, this is brand name, um, McVitie's I think is how you say it. Um, you can also get like store brand ones, um, but this is fancy. So it's got like an imprint of McVitie's original in the cookie or biscuit and it's got this coating on the back. Um, so this is Christmas pudding flavored, the seasonal edition. Now, Christmas pudding is the most vile fruitcake that you've ever eaten in your life. And I'm really not convinced that British people actually enjoy the taste as much as they enjoy the tradition of eating Christmas pudding. Because every time you ask somebody, you're like, well, do you like Christmas pudding? And they're like, well, I like my mom's, but I don't like anyone else's. So it's like, so you don't actually like it. You just, you like the tradition of it, which is fine. I just feel like we all need to be honest about the fact that Christmas pudding is a very strange thing to be obsessed with because it's, it doesn't even, it looks, I, I can't. Um, so anyway. So this is supposed to be Christmas pudding flavored. And the thing in Christmas pudding is basically like dried fruits um, and just like a bunch of strange ingredients. It doesn't smell terrible. It smells kind of like Christmas, but let's see. Okay, at first it tasted like a gingerbread flavor, which I was on board with, but I think it's too close to Christmas pudding for my liking, which is really um, a good thing for the brand if you like Christmas pudding, because I think it's pretty on point, but it kind of just tastes like sadness. 
and fruitcake. Oh, mm, mm-hmm. Okay. It, it tastes just like Christmas pudding. Um, so honestly, props to them. The flavoring seasonal department got it on point. The only question I have is why would you flavor a perfectly good digestive like Christmas pudding? That brings us to the end of this uh, British Christmas snack, treat, cookie, biscuit, whatever, taste testing video. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing what is out there in the grocery stores. Obviously some of these I really like, some of them I didn't as much. I would expect the same if a British person came to the States. In fact, my husband all the time takes great pleasure in telling me that every single American snack he tries um, tastes disgusting. So. Obviously, I think if you grew up with some of these snacks, they might taste a little bit better to you. These are just my initial reactions. Again, we can all get along no matter what our preferences and snacks are. Um, but I think it's really interesting, like I said, to see what's available in the stores and like what kind of seasonal flavors are popular um, in one country versus the next. Obviously, as we've discovered, they like turkey and stuffing flavor and Christmas pudding flavor. So now you know. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button for lots more British content from an expat's perspective. I would love to answer any questions you have. Comment below to let me know which of these sounds the best to you. And other than that, I'll see you next time.